As we can see from this artist's rendering, Bigfoot has big breasts. But just how voluminous are those voluptuous melons? I went behind the scenes to find out. In order to determine Bigfoot's chest size, I turned to the legendary Patterson-Gimlin film, which supposedly shows a Bigfoot in the wild. Dr. Grover Kranz had this to say about Bigfoot's bust. Bigfoot's shoulders are like 28 inches, bruh. Damn, that bitch thick. This is most likely a quote from Dr. Grover Kranz. Now that I know the width of Bigfoot's shoulders, I can accurately obtain a measurement of the rest of its body. Using this still frame of Bigfoot facing away from the camera, I use this floppy measuring stick in order to get accurate proportions based on Bigfoot's shoulders. What I found was astonishing. What I found was that Bigfoot's chest was 0.75 inches on the ruler, while Bigfoot's shoulders were 1.25 inches. This brought me to the conclusion that Bigfoot's chest was 60% of its shoulders width, meaning Bigfoot's chest is 16.8 inches wide. Next, I took a side view shot of Bigfoot and blew the picture up till it matched the size of the Bigfoot in the other still image. Taking measurements from here, I was able to determine Bigfoot's chest depth at 14 inches. Following this, I then took the most famous image of Bigfoot to date, the one that shows its breasts in full swing. Taking measurements from this image, I then determined that Bigfoot's breasts were 8.4 inches long. I blew up a balloon in order to provide an accurate representation of Bigfoot's booby. This balloon is an accurate representation of the size of Bigfoot's booby, as we can see by holding up this yardstick. That's a big breast. As you can see here, this booby would not fit on my chest. My next step was to set up a little bit of geometry, which I am excellent at, and create an accurate representation of Bigfoot's chest measurements. First, I decided to measure the band size, which is the size of the chest underneath the breasts. This measurement came out to an astonishing 61.6 .6 inches, matched only by the fattest of land whales. I then used geometry to determine Bigfoot's bust size, which is the measurement around the boobs and chest. This measurement came out to 78.4 inches. That blows them all out of the water. Next, subtracting Bigfoot's band size from her bust size, I came up with a difference of 16.8 inches, which leaves Bigfoot with a pea cup which I also happen to have right here. This is filled with my own personal piss. I actually don't want this near me, so it's going in the trash. Yeet. This can lead us to one logical conclusion. Damn boy, Bigfoot thick. We need to get Bigfoot some support ASAP. So, I encourage you all to head down to your local bra store and buy Bigfoot a peacup. Let's see if the peacup truly exists in our world. Turns out the peacup only exists in the doctor's office and in the homes of deranged psychopaths. Please tune in next time when we find out Breaking news, college frat boys everywhere are on the hunt for Bigfoot. Will these traps work? Find out next time on Bigfoot Booby News. I need to get this off of my hand. Help.